Maria Shovalova is a scholar and lecturer at the National University of Kyiv. She has provided us insight on the ground in Ukraine since the start of the war, and she joins us uh, live now. Uh, welcome. Thanks for being here. I see you're in the dark. Are you, are you taking shelter somewhere? Hi, thank you for having me. Absolutely, every night, every Ukrainian should be really careful and spend time in the shelter. As a few hours ago, there was explosions in, in Kiev, and actually, a few hours ago was spread as misinformation that there is explosions in Lviv. So first, we were scared, and in a few, few minutes, we figured out that that news was fake. So Russians are keep bombarding us, and also that they keep spreading misinformation that they are more powerful and they are more dangerous. So still, informational attacks and real attacks. Yeah, it's so hard to know. I mean, we're trying to figure it out too from here. So what are you experiencing there? What what has the past few days been like for you on the ground? It's all the same. It's 36 days of the war and every day it's bomb shelling. Every day we have a news that someone has died. And but also we have some positive news. Like my friend's mother have in occupied was in occupied city for 24 days. She haven't spoke with her family, and finally this city was revealed. Ukrainians, uh, Ukrainian army got there, and um, mom of my friend was alive. She gave a call, so that's really great. We can feel that when Ukrainian army comes to Ukrainian cities, some people will love our friends give us calls so we are extremely happy to hear that what a life just waiting to hear for people uh, from people you love and care about that they're safe and you talked about this misinformation russia you know says it's de-escalating russia says it's now going to focus on the eastern part of ukraine our government in the u.s says you can't believe anything they say are, are you hearing from family and friends in the in the eastern part of the country what are they telling you Everyone is not trusting Russians. We definitely are preparing for what worst scenario because it's our rule. We should be prepared for the worst and hopes for the best. So no one believes Russians. And, and you're a lecturer at a university. You have all these students. Um, are you still able to teach in the middle of this war? Uh, we are still on touch every day. We are chatting with each other and checking are we alive. Also, I suggested my students maybe someone need activity and need lessons to feel more emotionally okay. But everyone texted that, that, that they are just unable to focus and it's hard to teach. But I get notification from my university that we really hope to renew online teaching from the first fourth of April. I have no idea how we will make it, but we will do our best. Yeah, I know it's your passion, and sometimes people just need any sense of normalcy to try to feel like they can get through something like this. And you have male students, obviously. Are, are they fighting now? Do you hear from them? Yes, my student volunteered and joined in the army in the first day because he was a son of Ukrainian soldier. And my, my university suspended lectures, and in an hour we got notification that he joined army. And uh, my friend made article about him. Of course, his uh, sec last name wasn't named in in case of keeping his privacy. But we made some articles in Ukrainian newspapers about his family stories and how he is doing it because he's 19 years old and he is defending my home. Yeah, that must make you really proud of these people who, you know, you're in charge of, of playing a role in forming their future for your students. And I'm sure they have ambitions and dreams that have now been interrupted by this war. Exactly. But I'm more shocked that it's happening than proud. So still, there is a lot of shock because of everything. Well, you stay safe. Uh, thank you for taking the time for us. I know it's, a, it's very dangerous there. It's a really tough time. We appreciate talking to you. Thank you. Thanks for your work. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.